afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you're watching this video. How are you all doing today? Um, I'm super excited, super, super excited to be here. This has been long coming. It's been long coming, so <laughs> that's why I'm super excited that finally it's here. Yay! For today's topic, before I proceed with that, I am going to tell you that you are amazing as a person. You are God's masterpiece and you are perfect just the way you are because you're made in God's image. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, I will be speaking on self-worth, knowing your worth. But before I proceed, let me ask you this question. What do you see when you look at yourself? What do you think about yourself? You know? How do you see yourself? Because I tell you, this is the foundation of your character and your attitude towards others. I kid you not. This is the foundation of your character and attitude towards others. Do you know your worth much more than you can ever know? I'll say that again. Do you know your worth much more than you can ever think of? Do you weigh yourself or define yourself by your current situation or by the weight of your pocket or by your looks? I would leave that with you to answer. Do you let what you're going through define who you are? You know what? Making the world a better place starts with you. It starts with me. It starts with us as individuals. We have values embedded in us and you have to be intentional to bring that value to light. No one can help you do that. You would have to determine to do that. You grow your worth by being kind to yourself, by loving yourself. Because, hey, you absolutely cannot give what you don't have. You must get them for you to give them. If you don't get them, you know you give them. And that's why I'm, you know, hammering on this. Orange can only produce orange juice. Same with apple and other fruits, you know. So if you don't have it in you, you can't give it. That's just the simple truth. If you love yourself, you won't want to harm yourself. And you won't want to engage in, in harmful actions. And because you can't harm yourself, you won't want to harm others. That's how it is. You know, um, I know this might sound impracticable, but I tell you, it is doable, especially when you allow the Holy Spirit to fill you in. I, as a person, have been very intentional about my work with the Holy Spirit, and I tell you, I like how he's treating me. I'm loving every step of it, you know. He's teaching me about more about love, about kindness, and um, virtue. And I'm enjoying it. I tell you, I'm enjoying it. It's been beautiful. And I find myself getting better and better every day. I'm still work in progress. Yeah, I'm still getting there. And by God's grace, you know, we'll keep pushing will keep being intentional about these things be confident in yourself love yourself be kind to yourself and stop comparing yourself with others i tell you that's a joy killer <laughs> you know comparison is a joy killer you cannot see anything good in yourself you cannot see good in your own achievements because you're always busy comparing yourself to others. You are unique. Just know that you're unique in your own way. You bring so much value to the world. The world is not complete without you. And this is the truth, not to help you. You bring so much value to this world. When you're confident in yourself, one thing it helps you with is that um, it makes you to be rational and he helps you be open-minded about other people's opinion 
you, you wouldn't see fault in what they said just because, <laughs> you know, um, is it because they feel they are better? Is it because they are feel they feel they are they are bigger or something like that? I beg, fingers, eh? No, get the same size, but all of them have a wonderful thing they do. You know, so stop comparing yourself with others. You're perfect. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You're unique in your own way. You know. Feed yourself with virtue so you can share that to the world. Um, I started my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel, by the way. I started that channel when um, I lost confidence in myself. And why did I lose that confidence? Because if there is one thing I learned um, as a child when I was growing up from my mom... It is being confident in myself. I mean, I mean, I mean, no matter how tiny I am, <laughs> you can't, you can't just look down on me because I know my worth. I know what I bring to the world. You know, everyone is unique in their own way. It doesn't matter your size. As I did so, I said, no fit intimidates me. <laughs> You know, you can't intimidate me. It doesn't matter how big you are or how small you are or however. And the same way, I wouldn't like to intimidate others as well. That's the truth because that's what I try to impact in my kids as well. You know, um, be kind to others and expect others to be kind to you. You know, that's it's just the golden rule that we learned those days. Do unto others as you would like them to do to you. You know, in as much as I'm... And as I'm confident in myself and that's the truth i and, and that's not being arrogant that's not being proud but that's just knowing my worth and my value um if you want to insult me i don't know how to insult people but that's the truth because i know get and fall inside of me so i go to think think it is when something has even ended that i will now start to say ah maybe i should have said this to her the person <laughs> But the Holy Spirit will tell me, calm down. I will forget what I have to say at that time, you know. And even when I remember, I won't have the mind to. Because that's not who I am. That's not what is in me. So that's the same thing I try to teach my children. Yeah. Just be confident in yourself. And don't allow people to look down on you. And this is done. Why I, why I put it that way is some people might misunderstand me and think I'm saying be violent or something. No, that's not what I mean. Um, just like I've been saying, if you don't have hatred in you, if you don't have violence in you, you cannot give it. Even if people hurt you, um, you always take the bigger road. I mean, you always be the bigger person, you know, and it, it doesn't come cheap. It's all about working on yourself. And before you know it, you find yourself, you know, feeling better than you 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 have been feeling and this doesn't just come cheap um why i said it doesn't just come cheap because uh is it has to do with you being willing you know and obedient to the holy spirit to lead and direct and guide you like i said we are all work in progress i'm still working on myself i'm not perfect and i learn each day so yeah, um, my YouTube started when I was passing through a very um, difficult time in my life. I had a health challenge. It was a scary one. And it was a time that, I'm just going to summarize it by saying that, um, a time that I wasn't almost eating and wasn't almost sleeping. Yeah, I know. I know so. <laughs> Some of you will be like, there was, are you still alive? How come you're still alive? You know, that kind of thing. Hey, life is in God's hand and I'm glad I'm here today and I'm thankful for, for life. And you know, some things teach you to be more grateful. And um, that brings me to say that we have to be thankful each day. You know, there are a lot of things that we take for granted, but we don't know how much it means until you lose that thing that you have you know that's ne that's now that's when your eyes will open to see how much it actually means and again that brings me 
to what I am actually saying. You might not know your worth, but people around that see you, there are people you put smiles on their faces that might not even tell you, you know, until you're not there. Then, you know, people will start saying, oh, yeah, she meant, she meant this to me. He meant this to me and all that. That's how the world is. And that is why you should value yourself. You should be thankful for yourself. You should be thankful for who you are. So, yeah. Um, at that time, I lost confidence in myself. I lost because I wasn't looking good. You know, someone that is sick, you will look good. But um, the Holy Spirit kept giving me a nudge to go out there, just minister to people in any way you can. Um, that's when I did video on um, kindness. I did another one on love and all that. I, it's not like I, I didn't speak in depth, but I know that one or two words that I put out there might have blessed one or two people. I don't know. I just did what I was asked to do. It was there for the Holy Spirit to finish the work. So, and that's how these things go. So at that time, I learned a lot with my situation. One thing that I want to bring out from this is that that was a time that I learned that I'm worth more than my looks, you know. I wouldn't say I am not, I don't know, I don't know, but hey, because I'm made in the image of God, I am beautiful. <laughs> you know, so you were. Um, we are all beautiful. So I truly um, learned that your worth doesn't depend on how you think you look you know there's nobody that is ugly and this is just the gospel truth you know if you're if unless you think you are but you'll be lying to yourself even if you do think you are because that's not who god says you are so own it you are beautiful so I really lost this confidence in myself and I didn't want to put myself out there but hey I had to listen I had to know that hey mercy and I kept telling myself that I kept you know repeating that to myself that mercy you're worth more than however you think you look I'm just gonna be a little funny here I'm not and pardon me this is this is how I talk I've not been I'm, I'm not the big typo. I'm just tiny, tiny version of God. <laughs> you know, tiny. Uh, but at some point in my life, I know I, I, I was a little, you know, looking a little healthier than I am now. You know, at some point in my life, I was looking a little much better and bigger as a mom. But after everything, I came back to my, you know, normal, regular size. <laughs> so, um, at that time, it was worse. You know, now imagine someone like me slimming down much more. I mean, I could count my ribs and all that. But God loves me richly. He delivered me from the snare of the fowler. I don't know what it was. But one thing I learned that I want to bring out, that I want you ladies to take away today is I saw myself beyond my look, beyond however I thought I was and still didn't, didn't let it, you know, hold me down. It actually wanted to, but I did not let that happen. I didn't let it hold me down. I kept doing my thing, you know, because I know I'm loved by God and because I'm a child of God. And it just, that situation taught me a lot of good things. So there's always a very good side to, there is always a good side to every bad situation. You know, I've learned in this life that all things, when Bible says all things work together for good, it actually does. I have loads of story. All things all things work together for good, you know, to them that love God. It works together for us. So just see life that way and that would help you more to build confidence in yourself and um, 
and to be kinder to yourself and to love yourself more. Um, also, be intentional about making yourself a better person, even if you think you're there already. Um, one thing I would encourage us to do is to be more intentional because this whole thing I'm talking about, you have to be really intentional about bringing it to fruition. That's one thing that can help. If you're not intentional about it, you find yourself going back to start thinking, am I this, am I that? You know, and you'll be lying to yourself because I tell you, you have values in you that people are admiring. You might not know, they might not tell you. You sure do. Okay? You do. So be intentional about making yourself a better person. One thing that the Holy Spirit helps me to also do is to constantly evaluate myself. I'm this kind of person that um, I constantly check myself. I constantly evaluate myself to see how I can get better, to see how I'm living my life, and to see how uh, my work with God is going. You know, so I do that a lot. So I would also encourage you to let that be part of your daily practice well i'm super excited like i've mentioned to be here and to um, be given this opportunity to share this with you um i have lots of story to tell about my life and um, because i don't want this video to be too long i'm gonna conclude right now and i would like to conclude by saying this I want you to always see yourself as God's masterpiece whenever you look at yourself see yourself as one of the best things that happened to the world see yourself as one of the most important people in this earth because that's that's who you are just that you on the underrate yourself you know see yourself as one of the most beautiful persons in this earth the bible says love your neighbor as yourself if you don't love yourself how you go love another person you know possible you know that's what will tell you that the word of god is complete he said love your neighbor as yourself so no wonder there are so many hatred evil on earth just because a lot of people don't love themselves and also be intentional about this whole thing you know Making the world a better place starts with us. Work on yourself. Be kinder to yourself. And be more confident in yourself because you deserve and you're worth much more than you can ever think. I love you all and may God bless you. Bye.